Banner tow is a form of aerial advertising that tows a banner behind an airplane. It's a way to take an advertising piece to the people. I'm well aware that there's hundreds of thousands of people on the beach. You, you can't miss the billboard that flies by, and I think it creates top-of-the-mind awareness. These things are 40 feet high by 100 feet long, so that's 4,000 square feet. Picture a house that's 4,000 square feet. Lay it all flat, that's how big your message is. People want to get away from the, the big cities, and every one of the towns along the whole shoreline has a little beach. We launch out of Westerly, Rhode Island, and we're going to go all the way down to Bridgeport, Connecticut. So that'll be New Haven, Old Saybrook, Rocky Neck State Park, Stonington. We go to where the people are. We're a moving billboard, and we're a billboard that's bigger than a billboard. The pickup is challenging. An airplane takes off, and it's going to take off the person's going to throw a grappling hook off out of the window. We tell them they have a good hook, so it's not wrapped around the airplane. It's a rope connected to a safety link connected to the back of the plane that's approximately 22 feet long. They're going to come back around, line up on two cones that are five feet high, six and a half feet wide, with a rope, three-eighths rope, dangling between these two low poles. They are going to position an airplane going 85 miles an hour, down towards the cones, rotate the hook, picks up this little rope. When they're successful, the banner picks up off the ground with 300 feet of rope and it pulls right up off the ground. When they miss, the hook either goes right or left or high or low and they'll have to come back around and do it again. What does it feel like when you when you have a solid pickup? Well, emotionally, it's a rush because you're just like, yes, they got it. Now I can keep going. Or if you miss it, you're like, expletive. I I can't believe I missed it. You know, and then you have to come back around and do it all over again. You're going to be between the Andrea and the State Beach, right? Just fly around there. We have about five or six different pilots that work for me. They're independent contractors. They pick and choose when they want to work or where they what the routes they want to fly. So where are you about to head? I am headed to Hammonasset State Park in Connecticut and then out to Point Judith in uh, Rhode Island. A good group of guys, they're going to use this as a stepping stone. This is the fastest way to get hours, two seasons with us and they're down the road. They're going airlines. This job is a, a fluid job. You don't know where it's going to take you or what wave is going to hit you. You might have a flat tire one day or you might have a banner flip back over or whatever. You just never know what's going to happen. It's a lot of fun.